Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Mercedes-Benz SL. 63. Yep. So, we are a little bit late to this car. Yeah, we are very late to this car. However, yeah. we don't like blind spots here at Throttle House. Nope. And we feel a bit blind because the AMG GT is about to come out and we're about to try it. And we couldn't live with ourselves without trying the thing of the platform on which it's based. Wow, very good. All <laughs> the Thank words you. came out in the right order. I was proud of you. So yeah, thanks to Key's European Mercedes here in Van Nuys and Los Angeles area, um, which is a giant dealership, by the way. It looks like a temple on the inside. Yeah. yeah. They've lent us this SL63 quite stupidly. No, it's uh, actually, it's like, this is a really interesting day because this is the first time I think I've ever been able to see orange peel from 90 degrees. Yes, well, the obsidian black metallic is not the best quality looking paint. It's, it's, it might be the worst painted <laughs> I think modern can, car I think I've ever seen. I think you can go more expensive. But I, I think I've seen this in quite a few colors now. It's been out for a year. Yeah. Um, in fact, there's actually a crazy one coming. There's an e-hybrid, 800 something horsepower, 1,000 something pound feet of torque one. Oh, yeah, 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 that thing. Uh, but, that just means it's gonna be extremely heavy. They should, I, I feel like it should become a law that instead of posting the horsepower numbers, you have to post like the horsepower the, per, per thousand, kil, whatever the like I need the actual pounds per horse horsepower per pound the power to weight ratio that's 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 what I was looking for we're gonna get that law that's why it takes a while to get laws through the yeah. through the government yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I actually think it's quite a beautiful car no no no. it is actually quite good looking I like the Panamericana grill which isn't called that anymore right just or, the AMG grill these the days AMG grill these days yeah it's it's kind of it, the wheels are beautiful the yellow yeah. with the yellow brake calipers I yeah. think it's quite a mean spec I've seen it in some dark yeah. blues that are very wonderful I think from a styling perspective as the as the 911 competing sort of above Z4 Porsche Boxster it works as the Merc. Yeah, it does. I would just uh, like to remind you that the uh, LC500 exists. Different though. No. I think does it, this have a V8? It's twin turbo V8. Is this a convertible? Yeah. Yeah, is it a Grand Tourer? Yes, but. It's the LC500 competitor. Yes, but. How much cheaper is an LC500? Yeah, so. How, much, how expensive is this? Let's start there. Funny how, that's a loaded question. How expensive is this? Okay, how cheap is it? <laughs> It's not. <laughs> uh, the, the, I think it's like 188,000 US starting for the 63. So and then this one's got a bunch of options. I think it's, this is in the so 190s. Um, but yeah, it, that's pricey. That puts it, I think, I, this, I guess it's sort of between 911 GTS, 911 Turbo, Cabriolet pricing. Listen, if it drove like a weapon and it sounds amazing, wait, I haven't really driven it yet, just around this area. But I did notice that it does appear to be very poorly made. I maintain that this is a very poorly made vehicle. Why? Look at this. Look at this. A, a Porsche does not do that. It's a bit of give, all right? It's a bit of give, uh, yeah. yeah. You're all take. Right. The ne I got the neck scarf on. Yeah, on the, oh. it looks really cool. You can see the, 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 like the fans inside from the back. It's just so neat. It's, it's, so, it's such a great little feature. It is cold in here, though, I will say. Well, these vents are really no, cool. No, no, listen, everything looks cool. The leather cool. feels nice. The seats are yeah, nice. I agree. The seats are good. Everything looks cool. And We've got it, a bit of ambient. I said there's a bit of tech. There's an ambient lighting going on. They've got the Burmester sound system. Yep. There, there's, there's, you know, from, from the interior perspective, there's more going on here than what a Boxster or a Z4 Yes, yeah, significantly offer. more. And then I guess 911, the interior's better built, but Ooh. it's not as exciting. This has got some flair. What mode are we in right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But You're in comfort right We're in comfort. Right I'll get to that in a second, but before we get to it, I want to, on the record, say that I would take 20% less flair for 20% more simplicity and quality. But that's not, that's not what the SL is. The SL has always been about just classy beauty. It's got well class. made. It's no, it's got chintz. That's different. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in sport plus mode now. <laughs> well, it's got a, a V8. Oh, oh, yeah. it's nice to be back in an AMG V8. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's got a little bit slick. All wheel drive though, right? This is all wheel drive now. Yeah. Oh, that's a good noise. <laughs> so you, you probably could have the confidence of putting it into oh it's heavy the German's favorite mode. Oh, is, is there master race mode? You bet there's master race oh, mode. All right, put me yeah, in master it, race flick mode, baby. To, flick it over to race. Okay, race. One more, and then master. Master. Now we're in master race. Okay. Oh, won't well, let you. Didn't let me. 
It's throwing me out of it. Oh my god, they've learned! <laughs> they know we're not German. They've learned! <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be <laughs> Oh, that's bad. It's the fact that you can still do that is insane to me. It's proof that Mercedes is not watching our videos. Yeah, you, you <laughs> right. should not be able to put this in master race no, mode, guys. Come no. on. So it sounds very good. There's still the heart, that V8 heart. Careful, it's very slick. It is, yeah, but it's making a lot of noise. It's listening to us now, but she hasn't oh. got she hasn't got signal, so she's upset. So I, I, I've driven this here. I've driven it on Mercedes. Be quiet, please. Just stop talking. I've driven this here. I've driven it on highways. Yeah. There is. So so first of all, we have to have a moment silence for the loss of the GTC and the GTR roads. So that the now the platform for the AMG GT is done. This, this is what you get. It's Spirito Santi. You, you got, yeah, you've only got the SL now <laughs> yeah. and this platform and the GT. So where once there was a decision you could make between SL and GTC, which is a much sportier car, you only have this now. Right. And, and in many ways it works, right? We already said it looks good. It's very nice inside, very fancy. If you're getting something for the boardwalk, do people use that phrase anymore? The boardwalk? <laughs> like down on the boardwalk? Yeah. If you're, if, you're going, if you're going downtown and you want to have a nice car, this... I'm not sure anyone's used that since, like, the 50s. No, but... probably not. <laughs> but this, this is, has more presence than a 911. You see 911s everywhere. This looks, and, this looks and feels more special, and it makes noises like that, does, which yeah. a 911 does not. So um, in that sense, it works. But living with it, it's, it there's, there's a weight to it. There's a heaviness. Like, you mean like emotionally, like it was too much money, you paid too much? <laughs> no, well, it's not that different compared to a 911 Turbo or 911 GTS. You're spending for a fancy V8 convertible. Yeah, no, I know I know what you're saying. I've noticed this obviously while we're doing this. It, yeah. in, if you really load it up in the corners, even though it's wet, it pogo's a little bit. Like it's fighting its mass. So what I found, actually I found on the highways and, the brakes, and stuff. you feel it under brakes. You feel it under braking, yeah. but on the highways it was actually smooth. It, it, it wasn't pogoing. I found that it. it okay. Yeah, you it, feel that? Like. Ugh. Yeah. Here, here it's a bit all over the place yeah. because. The, the, but generally, it was fine. It's the impacts, the crashes. Yeah. The, sometimes you're in a car and you go over something, and the passenger goes, "What was that?" It's like a little bang. Yeah. And that's normally because you hit something bad. This does it not just to the bad. It does it to the medium hits. Yeah. And that's when you realize it's heavy. In short, the handling doesn't hold a candle to a 911. Oh, it's not in the same universe no. as a 911. Yeah. And then, and then you have to start asking yourself, well, if the handling's not amazing, and I want a V8 sound, and I want a high quality interior. LC500. The LC500 still is new, it still exists, it's still beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's slower, and that's it. That's the only area that it falls down. It's slower. Yeah, I think. And that's it. This has a significant amount more horsepower. A significant amount. It's very quick. I I get it. Like I get. I like that Mercedes has an offering in this class. Yeah. No, and no, you, no, and like you I, haven't got to do the sixty the sixty three. You can do the SL fifty five. Yeah. I don't. I don't hate this car. I don't hate it at all. In fact, like if I had to drive it every day, I'd, I'd survive. That's quite I'd, lovely. I'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just I, I have this picture in my head of what the SL could be. And I just don't necessarily like the direction. No, like, it's the GTC. I, yeah, I just don't. I don't want ambient lighting in my 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 vents. Like I don't. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want any of that. I, again, I have no problem if it exists alongside the thing you are asking for, the GTC. Yeah. So, but but I so I think overall as a package this works as an as a fancy. I got a Mercedes SL. It works. And it is beautiful. But I think once that translates to the, GT, to the GT, that's, yes. where, that's where my concern sort of yeah, starts yeah, yeah. to raise. Because that should like, be a sports car. Yeah. A real sports car. Because if this right? doesn't hold a candle to a 911 convertible, how can the GT possibly hold a candle to a 911 coupe? Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe it can. Maybe they've done magical things. Maybe. Yeah, as it stands, this is, if you want, if you like your Mercedes's and you think a Lexus is for dentists, which we said it was. <laughs> There's still the SL. This is also probably for dentists. Yeah, but dentists that will just pull a tooth for fun. <laughs> Those are my favorite kind. Yeah. Give me that molar. Throttle house. Extra throttle house. Okay, ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, you didn't say anything. I'm just upset with you. Oh, okay. <laughs>